Here's a quick tutorial on how to remove the drone from your footage after you filmed it with two 360 cameras. To get perfect results here while stitching these images you'll need an application like Autopano Video, but since that application costs more than your 360 camera I'm not sure everyone will be wanting to use that. So for now we'll just have the images stitched inside the phone, take that to the PC and edit it from there. In this case I had a Mavic Pro with a Samsung 360 model 2017 on top and one below. I did this in Adobe Premiere but this basically is possible in just about any video editor because what we're doing is fairly simple actually. So here you see some footage from the top camera where you see, let's see if I can use this as a reference. You see the drone clearly in the picture, but the top 50% should be usable in our footage. To this we'll add the footage of the bottom camera. And as you can see, this, as the camera was hanging upside down, is upside down as well. So the image has to be rotated. This is done easily in Premiere, but should be easily in any other editor as well. 180 degrees, bam and you see both images now have the same orientation. You have the bottom camera and top camera. Since the camera was twisted, we see that the jet surfer here is was filmed by the back lens, I think, and here he was captured by the front lens, so we have to alter that as well. So this is done by adding an offset to the footage. And we will put this to zero. And now you can see that both images clearly align. Uh, not perfectly, but usable. Now we want to remove the top drone. So in Premiere you add a mask. So we go, we can close this. We go to the opacity. And we draw a mask using the free Bezier curves. So here we can do a quick mask and draw around the points of the drone we don't want to see. Oops. Let's see how this works. We'll feather it. So by feathering, you give the mask a little bit more range to blend in between one image and the other. As we can see here, the drone still isn't removed. As a matter of fact, we see two drones uh, because the mark mask has to be inverted. And if you click inverted, bam, the drone is gone. If you now check both footages, you'll see that the drone is gone. There's still some leftovers here. If you see this, so we go back to the mask and widen it up a little here. I think this should be perfect now. Since we are not deforming the actual image, now there's still some shit here. White. Okay. So since we're not actually deforming the image, you'll always have some artifacts. As you can see, the let's put it at 100%. The trees at the top aren't perfectly stitched, and you end up with this image, which has to be mapped on that. For this one, can use an application like um, Colors. Uh, Autopano Pro, but it's proves proving to be a lot more complicated than than what we are doing here. So let's see what this gives us. And in general, we should have the drone removed perfectly. Voila. 
I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, just leave them below. Thank you.